Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, House of Virgo. This is a Virgo channel only. If you are new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below this video. So go ahead and click on that link. I'm running a special for March. Hi everybody in the chat. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed my channel. You guys, thank you so much for all your tips <laughs> regarding my wrist. That was really painful, but I splinted it, took some ibuprofen, all better now. Thank God. Um, so how y'all doing? Hello. Please give a shout out to the mods for all their hard work. They show up diligently with their volunteering. So shout out to the mods. Just wanted to recognize you guys. Virgo, how you doing? Let's take a look and see what your drama is, right? Always got some drama here, Virgo. Um, okay, give me just a sec here. Let's take a look. A little bit of shuffle. I also have a new deck I'm gonna incorporate into your reading tonight. So looking forward to showing you this new deck. All right, Virgo, what is going on for the month of March? Virgo love. Okay. Girl with a snake, empath, and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enabling, and boundaries. Okay. Let me show you this card. Okay. Hope you can see it. Girl with a snake. All right, let's take a look. What else is going on? Oh. Oh my god the snake oh my gosh okay somebody could be born in the year of the snake um 18 i think the 77 12 years before 12 years after competition enemy clever malicious looking looking over your shoulder the the other woman what the heck oh my gosh this reading are you serious girl with the snake and the snake there is something going on here that is not looking awesome, like so great. I don't, let me see. Somebody got charmed by, um, there's either a very charming deceitful woman or someone got charmed by a deceitful woman. And we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. All right, Virgo. <clears throat> Either this is someone that you were connecting with or someone your person was connecting with. But there is an energy here. Um, someone being very manipulative, being very sneaky. Someone, um, there's a narcissist in this situation. Okay. Um, and, you know, it could be... It could be a, a, a female or a male you were dealing with, or it's whomever your person, they were connected, they got <clears throat> finding out, somebody's finding out that somebody was malicious and they were intent on manipulating and causing harm, is how I feel this reading is starting out. Yay! I said there's drama, didn't I? Didn't I say you guys, what did I say? All right, let me get into these cards here and see what's going on. What is this reading? Okay. Hesitation. Seven of Pentacles here. Okay, somebody's getting some information. Taking a step back. And like I said, something's coming to light. So someone's taking a step back and seeing something for what it is. Someone was dealing with a very manipulative person. Okay, and you know, the Ace of Swords, this is making me feel like it's like a light bulb goes off. Okay, you know, because the sword can be reflective. Look at that. It's like a light bulb moment. Seven of Pentacles, just standing back, holding back, not like hes <coughs> hesitating. Because now there's like an aha moment. Somebody's getting some clarity. There's some truth coming out, finding something out about another person who is being very sneaky, snake-like, slithering, and it, 
some for some of you something to do you, there might have been a three party a third party kind of situation going on for some where uh, maybe you find out there was a third party and there was manipulation of some sort okay so we have Aquarius energy here the fool hmm all right big big strong message here somebody feels like an absolute fool is it you is it the person you were connecting with um, you might have had somebody that if there was a separation or a break they went to another person found out that other person was deceptive was lying to them um, I feel like there, that that situation's over okay I feel like if you were involved with someone and they went to somebody else or they were messing around and there was a connection with somebody else I feel like whoever your person is found out about this person and they made a, they made a foolish mistake okay they made a foolish mistake and it feels like they left that situation now I know that's not going to resonate for all of you but for somebody here this is a strong message okay so um sagittarius energy so temperance in reverse things off balance not in harmony wow i feel like i feel like this is your person virgo and i feel like they got caught up in something or they went to somebody else so they were maybe thinking the grass was greener on the other side and guess what it wasn't it was actually dried out and crunchy there was no moist no moisture it was like dead there was somebody that they either were talking to or they were connecting with um, that was a narcissist really it was just somebody else who charmed them and used them um, and took advantage of them um, and I'm not, this is not a feel sorry for your person reading. Um, trust me, it's not what's going on. It just feels to me like whoever you were connecting with, they went with somebody else, the other woman, the other man, or there was another person involved. And that person turned out to be, for some of you, not what you thought. I feel like some of you, if you knew about this, you kind of were like, uh, some of you were kind of like, well, what does that person have that I don't have? And some of you compared yourselves heavily. And it turns out that <laughs> this person didn't hold a candle to you. But you might have been thinking that in some regard. The person that you were connecting with, <clears throat> they made of they made of they might have made it seem like the other person they went to was better, but they wound up getting karma. It turned around a very unbalanced energy. Whoever the person was, or they connected with, or are connecting with, very emotionally um, imbalanced, unstable. These two were not in harmony at all. They weren't even. It wasn't. This was a, the very karmic kind of situation. Okay, seven of wands in the reverse. I feel like your person is just, right now, they're thinking about coming back to you. And that's what they're thinking about. Really, just throwing their cares to the wind. And I know some of you are like, well, phew, I don't know, Virgo, I don't know if that's what you're, you're going to take somebody back. Some of you might just say, huh, see, some of you might be in this I told you so kind of thing. But for a lot of you, I feel like it's like no this person comes in with defenses down they made a mistake they can't believe it they realize that the person that they, they feel like a fool and they realize the person that they went to was worse than they were making out making you out to be or whatever reason that they left or something ended okay <laughs> a lot of comparing this person with the seven of pentacles i see them just kind of like Hmm, thinking now, Re thinking about reinvesting their energy back into the connection with you. But I don't know, Virgo. Seems to me like you're been there, done that, moving on. Let me get some clarifiers. See what's going on. Show me this 
Seven of Pentacles. What is this person thinking about? Okay, yeah. Strength, Leo energy, getting the courage up. Getting the courage up to come your way. This is what they're doing. It's going to take a lot. They're going to have to come with extreme courage to even, I feel like, step in front of your door. Whoever they were dealing with, this is 100%. I feel it so strongly that this is somebody who thought the grass was greener on the other side and maybe even made you think that the grass was greener on the other side and whatever they were putting up on social media with the with the other person um trips spending all this time with them or if they were um talking of your friends or somehow you were seeing or, or finding out that and looking at this person in some way or maybe they told you that they're happier with whoever they're with guess what guess what that's not the case here they met their match okay this person was uh, whoever they were connecting with very competitive <clears throat> they were trying to take your place virgo somehow they must have known about you uh, trying to take your place compete being very malicious um, i feel like they manipulated your person <laughs> to um make them think that they were in some ways just like you but even better and i don't know it seems like your person got charmed charmed you know by the snake you know like a snake charmer kind of person googly eyes <laughs> goodness i know some of you are like i knew it i knew it i kept thinking but something was off something was off I feel like this person, whatever their reason, maybe you were dealing with a narcissist, whatever the reason is that something ended, this person may have tried to replace you <clears throat> with someone who was similar to you to make it seem like, um, it's almost like a dig, okay? But no, it backfired. All right, show me this Ace of Swords. Oh, here's the Fool again. Yep, that's twice, Aquarius energy. So here they are thinking gaining clarity they made a fool of themselves that's really what they're thinking about right now like they really effed up they really messed up it's child's play child's play okay so their clarity is that wow i screwed up real bad i screwed up and i gotta start over and gaining the courage and the strength to come back to you to try to make something work here Six of Cups, which is what I was trying to clarify on the Seven of Pentacles. That's what they're thinking about. Yeah, they're thinking about you, how things used to be. <clears throat> that you were real, sincere, you were kind, you meant well with this person. Yep, they want to come back. Let me see. What's the fool? Yep, Page of Cups. You're going to get a message from this person, some type of flirtation. I don't know if they're going to admit... This person is like, they're like a V8. Like they didn't have one. They're walking sideways. They're all messed up with temperance in reverse. They are all, they're sideways. They're all messed up. Are they going to admit to you? Are they going to tell you? I definitely feel like, I definitely feel like they're going to reach out to you and just start flirting with you again. That's going to be like your telltale sign. Okay, four of swords. So they're definitely trying to heal from this instability or what they went through. You know, it just feels like if you feel like your person was a player, well, the player got played. Or if you, or, or even if they weren't a player, but they made a bad decision and they played you, right? They're get, they, they got it right back in return. The tables turned on them, 100%. So that four of swords here, now they're, I don't feel like they're going to open up and, and tell you that they just got really sideways from this person, whoever they were connecting with, because that Four of Swords is like renewal, that's solitude, that's not communicating, okay? It's, if anything, it's healing from the Three of Swords prior to this, which is, you know, a third party or a breakup. They put you in a third party, that kind of thing. So defenses are definitely coming down, 
with them with the seven of wands reversed and here's the sun okay so you'll start noticing their defenses they were for some of you after some kind of separation they put walls up okay or they weren't really trying to talk or they were short even if you were talking to them they were short with their words it's because they were doing whatever they were doing with this other person trying to i guess it almost feels like trying to make it seem like where they were what they went to was better so you're going to start seeing them open up more as far as their defenses coming down okay and exposing themselves a bit more are they going to come right out and admit to you that they made a fool of themselves and that they screwed up i don't really feel i'm not seeing that here just yet but i do feel like this person's energy wait i just want to get one more clarifying card for the fool because there is definitely on the ace of swords some truth coming out with this person they may tell you they may just they may just say to you i made a bad decision but they may not go in depth and tell you that they're feeling like an idiot or they feel like a fool. Let me just see the fool card. What else is this clarity? What is this clarity this Virgo's person is going to give them? Ah, the star. <laughs> Aquarius on Aquarius. Some of you are definitely connecting with Aquarius. You're definitely connecting with Leo. This person feels like you're their soulmate. You always were. I don't know what. I feel like the wake up call just came they saw themselves in another person like they got in return how they were treating you okay so the star this could be somebody who's in a position of notoriety or fame um, it's a healing energy for sure healing definitely um, that's the clarity and the star is also renewing the hope so i feel like they are going to say they made a bad decision they're going to tell you that and i feel like they're going to tell you that um they want to try to renew is there any hope left for us to try to start over okay let me just see the sun show me the sun what is this exposure defense is coming down opening up more revealing more happy to be out of this okay knight of wands they're very strong passion for you very lusty still very physically attracted to you i don't know virgo i just feel like you need to watch out let's see what your energy is here okay i'm not gonna take those let's see what is virgo's energy because some of you that dragonfly is definitely connected to you also where things are coming to light here you're finding you're going to be finding all this out and i feel like a lot of you <laughs> There's, this person is going to come squirming, squirming back. I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to give you, make you, it's like an I told you so, like make you feel better, but I don't know um, that it's really going to be something that's going to make you want to come back to them because they're really just, you know, they're not coming full in, you know, with their bloody stumps. <laughs> they're not coming full in. Um, they want to heal it, but it's kind of like they, they were with you and then they bounced off into a rebound or to, with somebody else and then bounced off them and they're bouncing back to you. And I don't know that enough time. They're trying to heal themselves by coming back to you. I don't know that this person is really good with being alone for any length of time. All right, let's take a look at your energy, Virgo. Okay. So... Yeah, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo's like, I'm not reciprocating shit. I'm not giving anything to this. I'm not lifting a finger. So this is what I feel like your energy is here. You're not giving to charity. You don't feel responsible. You don't feel like there's a sense of duty that you need to give anything to this person. Okay? If they're going to beg, they can beg. But you're not in really entertaining it. Yeah, you got the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So it feels like you're not even going to indulge, really. Um, it's more like, I do feel like I was saying, you're going to get some real, so nine of, nine of Cups generally is like, this is not my wish coming true, you coming back to me. Uh, my wish is coming true by you getting what you deserve after the way you treated me. Um, it's not vengeance. It's just kind of like, some of you it's karma 
you know? I mean, I don't really feel like you are all that happy that somebody's hurt by something, but I feel like you kind of knew in some ways, or you were at least somewhere in the back of your mind. Don't get mad at me. I'm just a messenger. We're kind of hoping that this would happen. Um, and I feel like some of you are like, you know, let them indulge because I'm... Uh, you're going to enjoy it. I'll tell you that. You're going to enjoy it. It's justice coming in. I feel like you're going to get justice. Okay, we have a king of wands in the reverse. So some of you, it's really going to get you be like, you're going to be like, your ego is just going to be off the charts with this person coming in. It's just this sitting there with this smug look on your face. Like, I knew it. And I, I you are just going to be enjoying this. Like, you had the upper hand here. Okay? Maybe you were dealing with a fire sign in the reverse who was very, like, bullying and demanding and bossy and egotistical. But I feel like now it's like... Now you're the one who's going to be in that position now. Like, mm -hmm. see what you lost? You should have just listened to me. Or you shouldn't have done, done what you did. So the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, any opportunity this person tries to come in with, you're going to delay it. You're not even going to... I don't think you're going to see this as an opportunity to try to mend and repair. Now that just might be because you're still hurting or you're still smarting from something... Um, or some behaviors or actions that a person took towards you, okay? Especially if there was a third party and if it was like heavily damaged, this relationship. Yep. Here you are. Seven of Swords reversed. You're like, oh, you got caught. You got caught. And I feel like you're just kind of like, you're in, Virgo, all these cards in reverse doesn't feel to me like you're even interested anymore or at least when this person returns it's kind of like yeah okay karma's there but guess what i moved on i'm single as a pringle and i'm happy i don't need this drama let me take a look here you've got six of pentacles reversed yep shadow karma in reverse here we go so it came back around came and hit them right it came and hit them you know, um, so I feel like a lot of you um, don't really believe that this person, if they come in and they tell you that they made a fool of themselves and they've, they've realized they have a wake up call, I feel like a lot of you aren't even really going to believe it because some of you, I'm hearing, okay, let me get this straight. You're with me. You end it. You did what you did. And then you find out that whoever you were with was worse than you were. And you didn't like that. So now you're rebounding back to me. Is that what you're telling me? Because that's what it looks like. And with karma in reverse, you don't really feel like, well, it's even just the devil in reverse. Um, you are kind of like, you know, I've already detached from this. You know, I'm getting my healing on. And it feels like you're thinking here when they come back in that this person's just trying to come back in for the physical pleasure. You know, um, having just fun and that's not going to fly with you i feel like virgo you went through a lot you went through a lot with somebody here who really disrespected you um disrespected themselves and just really showed a side of themselves that you were uh, just shocked that this person showed up this way or turned out like this so a lot of you just you left long before like once all that was going and happening with another person Virgo I feel like in that meantime you were like that's way too much damage this cannot be repaired and there's no way you're I don't feel like you're gonna try to take this person back I'm not giving you advice whether or not you should it just feels like, yeah, you got this. Now you have the seven of wands in the upright where they have it in reverse. Their defenses are coming down. Yours are up. Yours are up. You're like, talk to the hand. You're not coming in here and indulging on me because you, you know, screwed up. You're going to have to sit with yourself, sit with your pain, sit with your regret and your remorse and, you know, learn some heavy duty lessons. 
Virgo, I don't know. I'm not giving you advice, but I do feel like I say it all the time. This person's not coming back with their leg cut off below the knee, handing it to you and saying, hey, I'll walk on, I'll walk on one leg for the rest of my life for you. I don't feel this person's coming in with that energy. There's the karma card. Yep, you're going to sit by yourself and get your karma. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you're, you're aware of it because I feel like you look at your person, it doesn't matter what side they are, as a king of wands in reverse, who is very narcissistic and very overt not not really this person showed up more in a very overt way like that alpha narcissist uh male or female you know it doesn't matter feminine or masculine doesn't matter and i feel like virgo you're like mm -hmm, sit with your karma you get what you deserve and i don't see you doing anything i don't see you trying to exact revenge on this person or casting spells or trying to ruin them i just feel like this is something that this person caused on their own and i feel like you're letting them finish out that energy that's nothing to do with you and i feel like you're a lot of you i do hear somebody saying you know i couldn't have done as good a job as karma i could not have done as good as uh, as good a job as karma just did to you you, you know, you reap what you sow. And I really feel, Virgo, that you're looking at this person like, that's just too bad, isn't it? That's a shame. And you're, some of you are gloating. <laughs> All right, have your day. Have your day in the sun, Virgo. No big deal. Let me see. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Clarified by the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the opportunity is definitely coming through, but you're not you're you're not giving this person the opportunity, okay? This is just telling you that this person is coming in to invest and you're not giving you're not going to give them that chance. Even I don't know if it's forever, but as of right now, uh, you're like no. That's not my problem. You made your bed. You're going to have to lay in it. I didn't make that bed for you. You made it. You lay in it. You deal with it. Because I feel like, Virgo, you're a lot more in your self-care right now, doing what you need to do for yourself. I don't feel... I never feel Virgos are the type to wish ill health or ill will on anyone. I don't ever feel that way. But I do feel like it takes a lot for Virgo to open themselves up to someone and trust and give their because when they give they give wholly and virgos tend to do more than any other zodiac sign virgos are like the healers of the zodiac they're like the martyrs they they give and they give and they give but man when somebody does you wrong or betrays you in some way virgo you're a lot like scorpio a lot except scorpio will exact revenge virgo will just be like no nope. virgo just does the complete cutoff Virgo doesn't really try to, not generally, try to get back at another person because Virgos have such a good heart and they want people to be happy and be well. And I feel like your course of action here is you're not giving any attention to this positive or negative at all. You see that this person got caught and the tower came down on them right here. Everything got ruined because of their lies and their cheating or whatever they did. They're running away, sneaking around, they got caught and they got caught up in something that it was just gonna happen inevitably because like I said, you reap what you sow and the tower came down, the boom, broke their ego. So we got Capricorn, we have Scorpio. I said the fire signs. Okay, let me just pull another clarifying card for what is this lesson this person's learning? The karma. Hmm. They should have came in more stable and structured. And also the lesson that they learned is they should have held on to you, King of Pentacles, male or female. Okay, you were the one for them. 
and they should have been more um, stable. This person might have, um, they should have held on to that job. They should have paid what they were supposed to pay. Um, they shouldn't have been messing around the way they were messing around. You know, they should have been more wise with their decisions and choices. That's what their karma is. That's what they're learning. And also maybe, um, maybe you have somebody else. And part of that could be the reason why you're not returning to this person or letting them return to you. All right, show me the tower. Ha, huh, the lovers, oh my gosh. Okay, well, whoever they were with, okay, you, you're seeing it. I, I feel like some of you are like, oh wait, this person, they told me that they were in love with this person, right? Well, that just fell apart, that just got destroyed, okay? They got caught with somebody else. And they may have been like, oh, I love them and I'm in love with that person. And things aren't working out. You're this, you're that. Yep, table's turn. All right, real quick. I just want to show you. I got this new deck, Chinese Oracle. So I want to pull some cards here to see. These are by Paolo Barbieri. Okay, so I'm gonna pull some cards. I wanna see what Chinese sign you might have been dealing with. Just to give a little more clarity, okay? Um, unfortunately, these do not have the dates on them. So, and I don't know them by heart. So I'm gonna tell you the Chinese sign, see if it resonates for you. And then um, I'm only going to pull four, okay? And then, you know, it's up to you to figure out who your person is. If you don't know their Chinese sign, you can look it up. All you need to know is what year they were born and month, and then just plug it in Google. All right, let's see, four cards. Show me who Virgo may have been dealing with. And just um, disclaimer, if I don't pull your person's Chinese sign, it doesn't mean it's not your story. Okay, this is just to give more of a qualifier for those who are listening. Okay, so we have the monkey. You could have been dealing with someone who is the year of the monkey. Okay. Also, this could be you to also give you clarity if this is your reading more so. Okay, a goat, year of the goat. Okay, dragon, year of the dragon. Okay, it's either you or your person. And the pig, year of the pig. Okay, aren't these pretty? I hope you can see them. I know the light's not so bright. All right, let's take a look and see what other messages there are here for you in relation to this connection. Actually, I want to see what your person could say to you. What's going on? They're hidden, hidden oracle messages here. All right, let's see. The hidden truth. What is the hidden truth here for Virgo in regards to this person? Sometimes I lay, I stay awake thinking about you. Okay, they're definitely, listen Virgo, you are on this person's mind. They got burned. They're trying to come back in March. I bury myself in work to forget you. <laughs> okay. I wish things could be different. I'm so attracted to you. I feel like that's really strong for this person. Their attraction towards you, Virgo, very, very strong, um, especially now. But I just feel, I don't know. Uh, you're going to do what you want to do. Um, and again, I'm not trying to give any bit of advice here tonight. I don't know why. I just feel like some of you <clears throat> are just saying no. You're just saying no. You're either saying no forever and ever, forget about it, or you're just saying, no, not right now, it's not a good time, and just 
you know, go lay in that bed you made. Suffer. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Let's see what other messages there are here for you. Get some moon pie cards. Okay. Hi, you guys. Yeah, I'm not live tonight. Just the chat is live. Um, I'm going to cut this a little short because I don't want to shuffle. My wrist is still healing. I'm just trying to be um, less tired using it. All right, let's see. Okay, non-committal. Yep, there's a warning. Now that might be you, Virgo. You might just say, no, I'm not committing to this. I'm done. But this person is coming in. I feel like they're going to come back. Listen, they got burned. They want to come back. And they're going to come back and try to get back in your good graces, but they're still coming in non-committal. Okay? So if they were committed, they never would have left in the first place. Because, you know, you make a commitment, you stick with it. Who makes a commitment and then changes their mind? Like, I mean, no good. No bueno. Let me see. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. Well, the struggle is over, but it showed up in the reverse, which means it's not. This thing, this person coming in, is coming in, like I said, sideways. Still, this is still going to be a struggle love, it seems. So if you've made the decision to be gone and you're sticking with that, you've at least committed to that, that you're not going to commit to this relationship anymore, stick with it. Don't tap out. Stick with it. Okay no contact all right some of you are in no contact right now or you need to initiate no contact some of you may have felt like you didn't need to because you moved on and whatever for, or for whatever various reason you had now them coming back in sending you messages flirting with you reaching out oh having this like oh i've been thinking about you and all that some of you may need to actually implement like no contact at all just so that you don't get triggered or pulled back into anything or just because some of you are like i'm just not dealing with this fool i am just not dealing with this fool i deserve better you know, let me find somebody who's better for me who's like a real the real deal a real one not someone who's playing games okay waiting for an answer <laughs> oh my gosh so virgo i'm serious if you're already in no contact this person is going to be reaching out and they're going to see like one gray tick <laughs> for some of you or they're not going to see like it'll just it won't even say it was delivered a message or something because some of you completely blocked this person or you're out they're going to be waiting like why hasn't virgo responded see i feel like this person has it in their head that they could do whatever they want and they probably were like dictating like president putin that they were going to do whatever the hell they wanted and that you're just going to have to suffer or deal with it and i feel like a lot of you are like uh -uh, i don't think so they can sit there and wait all they want they can lay in that shit piss urine bed of theirs that bed that they made and let them suffer it's not my problem right so they're going to be waiting waiting for you to reply waiting for an answer boom lightning strikes tower moment here the strike has sent a ripple effect in into your life things may seem to be in chaos or have been it may be for the good after every storm comes a washing away stand firmly on the ground and know that this whole thing is for the best if there was a separation or something ended here it's done let it be done hold on sorry my grandson was crying he must have like fell asleep and then woke up and came out looking for his daddy okay hold on all right sorry about that you guys <laughs> i'm just trying not to get him in the um microphone but i guess it can't be helped sometimes all right let me see what are your what are your intuitive messages here coming through virgo i just feel like i'm, I'm not gonna kid I'm not gonna kid if you had somebody who did this to you and you take this person back you're only you're thinking with your emotional brain 
and not your logical brain because this is just someone who is a user and they're coming in like with this very clever listen if this person yeah they got manipulated but you know what eye for an eye you know this person um um, this is not a reading, oh, you should feel sorry for them because they got hurt, right? This is their journey, not yours. And this person was coming in, yeah, maybe you were very empath, uh, you were an empath and you were involved with a narcissist and you did this dance with this person for quite some time and some of you finally got out of it and it was really hard. This person might have charmed the pants off of you and like tried to, you know, there might have you might have enabled them and they kept, you know, um, pushing on your boundaries and like I said dictating right um this person comes in very clever definitely um they were very envious of you and jealous and competitive and that's they wanted to keep you down so then them going to another person either they went to someone who was very similar to you or they met someone and tried to make them into you which is something that a narcissist will tend to do if you're a grade a some of you might have ended something with this person first maybe you went no contact with them because of their behavior and then they went and tried to find you know another you but even if that other person they went with didn't manipulate them um the other person may have caught on and found out what they were like you know this person's just playing around let me see Okay. Okay. The initials, the letter M. Um, somebody's birthday is on the first. Okay. All right. We have a Queen of Swords here. So Aries, Libra, Gemini could be in the mix here. Butterflies and dragonflies. Maybe you have like butterflies or dragonflies around you or somewhere on you or near you or you'll be seeing one. Okay. We have the letter A. We have the letter C. Somebody's, somebody, okay, the, the 13th. Also the 10th I'm picking up. Um, someone is from Europe. Um, someone's from um, like maybe the Baltic the Baltics or near the Mediterranean or somewhere there in Europe like East Europe not, not Northern Europe more like Eastern Europe okay let's see so we have the third also, at the year 83, we have the letter G. Okay, we have a sixth, the sixth. Um, we have the 14th. Some of you knew this person when you were a child or you have children with them. Maybe a boy and a girl. Or you just have children, or you have a boy and a girl. Let's see. Did I say the letter G? Can't remember if I said the letter G is showing up. I have a T. Letter T. Okay. Um, so I have somebody here who's. Um, in their 30s there's somebody it could be you it could be another per the other person somebody in their 30s or late late tw like 28 29 up to like 39 okay I also have a queen of wands um, Aries Leo Sagittarius so we have two queens Okay, so it could be two kings or two queens, but there's two people here. Some of you might have found out there was a uh, same-sex relationship that you weren't aware of. I don't know who that's for. It could have been. Uh, some of you could be in a same-sex relationship, and there was a, a, a third party with a same-sex relationship, like a cheating kind of thing. Okay. 
Okay. So we have the letter C. Um, somebody was born, uh, well, the date, uh, the, the date is the 4th. We have the year um, 1986, 1964. Somebody might be 46 or 48. Um, let's see. Okay. And we have the 15th. Um, um, Michael, Michelle, Mimi, um, Thomas, I'm hearing. We have um, Tammy or Tamara or Tara. Those are the names I'm picking up here. Also, um, Zara, they said. I don't know if it's Tara or Zara. Um, we have Azura, Azul, but maybe it's the color blue. Azul, somebody likes the color blue. Um, somebody's Asian or from Asia or is Asian. Um, somebody's name, I'm picking up Mick Knight or MC Knight. McKnight. I don't know if that's somebody's name. Mick. Maybe it's a Mickey or Mick. It might be like M little C capital N K Knight. McKnight. All right. Let's get some charms. There's the butterfly again. Here, that's a dragonfly, and we have butterflies, so transformation, okay, Virgo? I feel like you need to, like, keep going. You're going through some kind of transformation right now in your life. I feel like you need to keep going with that, keep pressing forward. <clears throat> All right, what's this? We got the fox. Okay. Sly like a fox. Okay. Some of you are just super, super foxy. Or you think your person is. And maybe that's your temptation. Um, but this is an energy of being sly as a fox. Being tricky. Okay. Hold on. All right. I'm going to get one more. And then I'm going to have to end it for tonight. <laughs> okay. So, all right. I'm thinking of, um, we have a moon with a star. So I'm picking up like, it's telling me like a flag that has a moon with a star. All right, I don't know what flag that is, but they're just telling me a flag that has the moon and the star emblem. If you know what that is, leave me a comment or put it in the chat here. And we also have the Eiffel Tower, okay? So we also have, um, obviously that's related to France or, um, it could be oil maybe somebody works i'm picking up like oil works with oil or on an oil rig or does something with oil um all right yeah so all right you guys i'm gonna leave your messages there sorry it was so short tonight but i will be back on tomorrow night with the live stream readings i just wanted to leave something here for you guys for now i love you so much i hope the the I hope the message didn't resonate for a lot of you. Um, and for those of you who it did, it did resonate. I hope that you guys are on a healing path and moving forward and just keeping yourselves open for a much healthier relationship. Okay. All right, you guys love you very much and I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye.